Now, we all know there's a wealth of wildlife in our parks and woodlands, but how often do we get to see any of it? A new project funded by the Heritage Lottery in North East Wales aims to shine a light on the normally hidden world of creatures living right under our noses. Whether it's boisterous badgers, furtive foxes or style-conscious squirrels, so much of what happens in the country parks and woodlands that surround us goes unnoticed. But that's all about to change. Looking good. These conservationists are installing camera traps in nature reserves around Wrexham, Denbyshire and Flintshire to see what happens when the humans aren't watching. We're hoping for things like uh, foxes and badgers. Um, otters are also one thing that we definitely want to try and uh, catch, catch some glimpse of. Um, and there's also things like uh, polecats that could turn up um, and even red squirrels in Denbyshire we're, we're, we've got our fingers crossed for. The footage is being collected regularly and shared at public meetings to show people who's sharing their neighbourhood. The images captured by these cameras are proof that you don't need to travel to remote or exotic locations to see wild animals in their natural habitat. Often the best place can be on our own doorsteps. But without discrete lenses like this, our chances of seeing them are pretty slim. The data collected by the iWild project is also being fed into a massive environmental map of North Wales. Covnod collects information on all kinds of plants and animals to build up a comprehensive picture of how populations move, grow and shrink over hundreds of years. The iWild project will give us a really good sort of window into those, into those species, what they're doing, what sort of habits they, they adopt. You know, when, when they come out, is it, are they mainly at night, are they mainly during the day? We're not really sure. So, you know, having these remote cameras are going to really help us understand what's happening to these species. We may have assumed that tawny owls and rabbits regularly pop up in the wilder parts of our communities, but now we have the photographic evidence to prove it.